Every type of quiver is matched ideally with a certain uh, method of drawing according with the loading technique what can be performed. The living arrow right side sword quiver is made in order to have the knocks aligned in front of the chest on the vertical line. This arrangement is supposed to be based on the natural motion of the right hand after release to come back home. If the traditional snatched release is completed with a powerful uh, backward punch, immediately the right arm will be sent back home. Then in this way it's easy to find an arrow on this path. Backward punch, grasping an arrow. The easiest method is to grasp the arrow into the fist and to put directly on the string in a point in front of the forehead, eyes or nose according with the range and with the direction of the target. When the knocking is completed, already the arrow is turned horizontal with the tip pointing to the, uh, to the target like an unicorn or laser eyes or Pinocchio nose. The action is made with the both arms working symmetrically, opening the armpits, rising the elbows and stretching the cubital part of the sword of the hands in a such a way that the drawing is made from up to high to from high to low with the hands centered ideal for the drawing. The loading and the shooting phase are one motion with the hands following the way of the breathing power rising along the upper body and elaborating at release on the shooting line. It's a good opportunity to show also the principle of the basic dynamic shooting. The main power running along the archery form it comes through the right arm. The right arm gives the power at loading, drawing and the release, while the left arm gives the direction, stability and the elevation of the arrow. If the archer is allowed the right arm bent from the elbow to swing in front and back while he's loading and drawing his bow, this it count on extra energy what he can use for the drawing operation. In front, elbow punch, backward, elbow punch. In front and back. The swing of the right arm in front and back, sustained from the lower body, is balanced and coordinate from the hard point using the spine at the X of the rotation. This pendule-like motion giving more extra power a drawing, it's also allowed the right elbow to be under the shoulder. This is not very aesthetic and not conform to the principle of the static shooting archery where it's very important to align the forearm the elbow the arrow and the shoulder one line 